Hello everybody, video here for you today. This is the No Cap Recap of the May 10th, 2022 Season 9, Episode 7 of the Curse of Oak Island Companion Show, Drilling Down, called Always Forward, Siempre Avante. If you missed my recap of Episode 6 of the Companion Show, there's a link to it in the upper right. Let's get into it. There's an island in the North Atlantic where people have been looking for an incredible treasure for 227 years. The episode follows host Maddie Blake to Traverse City, Michigan, home of Rick and Marty Lagina and their business where he meets them and other members of the team. They recap this year's finds, most significantly water sample tests with high gold content and two pieces of metal with gold content in them, each from deep underground. This is the X-ray fluorescent machine test results of one of the pieces of metal showing the gold content, identified by the elemental symbol AU. They discuss the Muon technology, which is shown being implemented as Season 9 of Curse of Oak Island was ending. Muons are the subatomic particles that pass through everything. Collecting that data can reveal voids and tunnels and even items in the tunnels, as illustrated here. It's the same technology that was used to discover two new voids in the Great Pyramid, which they will be doing again with even more precise equipment within the next two years, hopefully. Rick Lagina says that if the data shows something definitive at an exact depth and location, he wouldn't dig, he would tunnel to it. Tunneling companies have the ability to tunnel and cover the walls with concrete, therefore blocking the flood tunnels from flooding the work area. Next, they discuss the finds on the stone road and path and Laird Niven, Niven, excuse me, eventual find of this indigenous Mi'kmaq pottery, which resulted in them being prevented from continuing work in that specific area by Nova Scotia's Culture, Communities, and Heritage Department of the Government. As far as plans for the swamp, Rick says there's a technology that can take a complete slice out of the bog and raise it up completely intact so you can see exactly what strata the artifacts are coming from. He uses that small book to demonstrate Marty says they should also do some more work on the paved area at the eye of the swamp that was carbon dated to 1200 AD. Next, they talk about what nationalities could be involved. The English, French, and Spanish were previous suspects of being involved with Oak Island, but this last season proved a strong tie to the Portuguese. While on a field trip to Portugal, Rick and members of the team were shown symbols that matched ones on Oak Island, a stone road and path that match, and also this initiation well, which has nine levels and is 13 feet wide, just like the money pit. The drawing on the right is from Robert Restall, a previous Oak Island searcher that lost his life along with his son and two other men when they succumbed to natural gases during a dig. Next, the group talks about the western two-thirds of the island being largely unexplored as the money pit and the swamp have commanded most of the attention. Rick says it would be regretful to leave the island not having done that, so let's look. Some believe that the money pit and the swamp are just decoys and the actual treasure is elsewhere on the island. The significant gold readings of the water samples in the money pit prove that there is something there but there could be other treasure and historical findings on the western side of the island, too. A magnetometer survey revealed several anomalies, including one that could be the hole under the hatch from Zena Halpern's map. Also mentioned was Marty's discovery of a paved area on Lot 8. It's very similar to the one found near the eye of the swamp. Recap next is the ground penetrating radar scan that revealed a branch of the stone path that turned and headed towards the money pit area. Rick and Marty say that their hope is work to work out something with culture, communities, and heritage that would designate different areas as archaeology driven and technology driven. 
Rick says that they have already started hiring researchers in different countries because the information hunt is every bit as important as the digging. In conclusion, Rick says that the people we call acorns are to thank for continuing to be interested in the Oak Island mystery and keeping it going for 227 years. Season 9 of The Curse of Oak Island is over, but there is at least one more Drilling Down companion show airing Tuesday, May 17th, called The Ultimate Answers. I will be recapping that. The synopsis is that Maddie Blake drills down with Rick Marty and members of the team on the Oak Island Mysteries ultimate questions of who, what, where, when, why, and how. Once again, I'm Coach Steve Money. You can schedule a free financial coaching consultation assessment with me at calendly.com slash coach Steve Money. I am a certified financial coach via Ramsey Solutions. That's Dave Ramsey's company. You can email me about that financial stuff or anything else on my YouTube channel, including Oak Island, CoachSteveMoney at gmail.com. Channel donations can go to paypal.me slash CoachSteveMoney. Add me on the gram, inner, gram, inner, inner what's it called? Instagram <laughs> is, uh, is uh, CoachSteveMoney, no spaces, at CoachSteveMoney. Uh, and this YouTube channel is youtube.com slash Coach Steve Money, thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, like, and comment.